What this student is really being asked to track down are ultra-processed foods. UPFs are a part of the NOVA classification system, and using the NOVA classification, scientists assign foods to one of the four groups. Group 4 consists of ultra-processed food. They're industrial products made mostly from substances extracted from foods like sugars, starches, and hydrogenated fats. UPFs are generally implicated with poor dietary quality that is linked to adverse metabolic and health outcomes like obesity, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and even some cancers. Now that we know that UPFs are linked to such diseases, wouldn't you want to know how UPF levels are tested in your body? Science has changed the game. In a breakthrough study, researchers have demonstrated that the intake of ultra-processed foods can be directly measured within the human body. In order to understand how this works, you must understand what metabolites are. Metabolites are compounds that are produced by the body's conversion of food into energy. And now, it turns out that their levels can reflect food intake. When scientists compared self-reported UPF data to the metabolic measurements in blood and urine for 12 months, they found out that nearly 200 metabolites in blood and 300 in urine were correlated with UPF intake. And now, they took this information and they used machine learning to combine many metabolites into what they called polymetabolic scores, 28 from blood and 33 from urine. Then, they tested if these scores could tell apart high UPF diets from low UPF diets. And it turns out that it could. But why does this breakthrough matter? Because now, science can finally link diet to diseased risk, shape smarter public health policies, and one day even use this discovery as a diagnostic tool to measure UPF intake during checkups. UPF quantified the future of health, the power to save lives.